So continuing a review of this Heathkit microprocessor trainer, it's interesting in the manual um, it mentions that the keyboard allows you to quickly enter commands and data to the microprocessor. Now in assembly language that's not so quick so I wouldn't want to I wouldn't want to enter in these programs uh, repeatedly so one of the one of the features when you have the I.O. accessory is that uh, you can do cassette backup of your program and then reload the program so you don't have to uh, enter in the assembly language uh, all over again and so that's that's a nice feature to have um, I wouldn't want to have to enter in all this code uh, repeatedly so once once this is turned off you, you're gonna lose all that it's not going to stay in memory uh, so I thought I'd give it a try and see if uh, I can get this to save that program to cassette. So I've got a cassette tape uh, player recorder here and I've got my cable that I made up. It comes from the output to the input here in this cassette player. Now what you do is there's a small routine here you enter in the starting address of your program and then you enter in it asks you for the uh, last address of your program and uh, you just before you enter the last digit of that address you hit record on your uh, recorder here and then when it says CPU up hopefully uh, your program is now on your cassette tape. So to call up this routine I have to say do and the address is 1 A8 F and it says FR is first so the program starts at zero 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 and there's last uh, so I have to look at uh, what the last address of that program was give me a second so um, with this accessory uh, the trainer plugs into the accessory and then the accessory plugs into your power on the back here so there's always like this is in standby when you turn this off I think uh, you don't lose your program so I'm going to turn the whole thing off it's off turn it on again CPU up hit reset uh, we'll say do zero 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 and you can see nothing's happening so I would have to enter in all my code again to get my program running so hit reset and let's see if we can enter in the program from the cassette so I'm going to rewind this Ooh, I think there's something wrong with my cassette here. Let's see. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, this needs new, new belts or something that's so old. Forward. Rewind. Okay, and automatically, automatically ejects. All right, so now what I do have to do is uh, I have to change to input. So the load routine is at address one A B C. So I hit do one 
A, B, and I don't hit the C until I hit play on this. So there's play, and I hit C, and this will stop once uh, it gets all the data off the cassette, I guess. Let's see. We'll be able to hear this, I believe. Okay, so the cassette player has had it. I think the belts have probably dried out and stuff. It's on its last leg. Uh, but who needs uh, a cassette tape player, recorder, or whatever? Let's see if we can do it with the laptop. The only thing is uh, I have to um, enter the program all over again. That's a pain in the butt. So... Let's start doing that. I'll show you how that's done. So we got the program here. We'll say auto, which is a feature. It automatically steps through each address. We want to start at address 0000. zero, zero, zero. And we're going to start off with binary, uh, the um, hexadecimal code. Whoops, see that? That's not good. Reset. You have uh, these buttons here haven't been pressed uh, to for a long time. So these buttons haven't been pressed for a long time, so you've got this bounce or you've got some stickiness going on and you get a double hit when you press the key, which jumps you into, is automatically repeating uh, some of these instructions which is not good. So auto zero 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 B D see it steps to the next address F C B C eighty six zero one. So I won't bore you with this. I'll come back when I'm at the end here. All right, so the last instruction is D, A. Let's hit reset. Let's say do. There we go. Okay, so I've got the program in again. Ah, I entered it incorrectly this time because it's repeating. So there was an error in the entry somewhere. I think that I had a a zero instead of a D for one of these instructions which is surprising it ran at all so this is the correct program where it's repeating now let's see if we can get uh, this recorded so we load we start the routine we say do 1 A 8 F And there's the first address, which is one two zero zero zero. Um, and the last address, which is zero zero two, and then I'll enter in the six once I start record on the laptop. It does help to have the cable hooked up correctly. I still had the cable on the trainer side hooked up to the output uh, I mean to the input so let's try this again I'll hit record and enter the six looks like I've got something going on oh there's information there CPU up. Alright, let's play that back and see what it sounds like. Hear what it sounds like. Yeah, 
and play. That's more like it. All right, now let's see if we can get that back onto the trainer by swapping my cables here. Okay, let's give this one last try. I've got the cables hooked up correctly. Um, there's no, the program does not run. Got a lot of, let's see, reset. Two zero 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 zero. There's nothing there. So let's do that routine to load the program now. So this is old school meets new school, or old school because this is a T23. So in computer years, this is old school too. So that routine is due. 1, A, B, and we don't have to wait uh, to start the uh, record or start the play button here. Uh, this will wait for the information as long as it takes. So press, we'll press C. There's nothing going on. It's waiting for the audio or the data. So let's go here. We'll press play. Playing. There's the information. Oh, something's set. Oh, CPU up. It received received something. So now, I'll turn this off. Doesn't need to be running. Let's see if the program's in here. We'll say do zero 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 zero. There it is. Who needs cassettes? Why oh, this is fun. Get you thinking again. Excellent. Cool. So, there you go. Kind of rough uh, in the beginning here. Relearning. Playing with this uh, old school toy for microprocessor trainer. Nice learning tool there. So I think I'm going to go through the uh, coursework on this again. Be great. Uh, I think I've got the all the the parts that came with this. Doing the projects, go through the projects. It's gonna be great. So thanks for watching.